the Hebrew Israelites. I'm going to debunk you in under five minutes. It's very easy to do because you don't fit the prophecies whatsoever of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68 at all. First off, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68 is taken out of context. Second, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68 states clearly that you will be taken as slaves in slave ships and taken to Egypt. You were never taken to Egypt. You were taken to America. America is not Egypt. Mitzrayim in Hebrew does not mean the house of bondage, as you guys claim. It doesn't mean that. First learn Hebrew, then you can tell me what my scriptures is talking about. Next, verse 52 is a destruction of verse 68 for your claims. Why is that? Why don't you open up your Bible, your Christian Bible, and read verse 52. It says very clearly, again, context is something these clowns don't know anything about. Context, context, context. Here we go. Verse 52. It shall shut you up in all your towns throughout your land until every mighty towering wall in which you trust has come down. When you are shut up in all your towns throughout your land that the Lord your God has given to you. Now what land is that? That is the land of Israel. That is not the African continent. Sorry to tell you, it's not Africa. This is Israel, a removal from Israel to literal Egypt. Now, when did this happen? This happened in the year 70 AD, nearly 2,000 years ago. We, the real Jews, 2,000 years ago, after the temple was destroyed, as spoken by Josephus and others in the historical sources, the Jewish people were taken as slaves in slave ships and removed from our land of Israel and taken to literal Egypt as slaves. But finally, verse 68 says that you will sell yourselves as bondsmen and bondswomen and no one will buy you. Now, they claim that it says, no, it actually means redeem. No, it does not. Learn Hebrew and then you can tell me what my scripture says. It's not what it says. The point is, is that everyone bought the African slaves. Everyone bought them in America. So this does not fit you at all. Yet, what we find in historical sources, which I will put them in the description box below, so you can read the information for yourselves. We were sold, or attempted to be sold, and no one wanted to buy us. Very few were bought. Many of us died on the way to Egypt in the slave ships. Then we were moved from Egypt to other places all over the world, and eventually many of us in Europe. That's where, we, that's where we ended up in Europe. We did not come from European. There is no mass conversion like these frauds and phonies keep saying. You can't convert to something you never left. Never stop keeping the covenant. And the last point is, the claim of this grand awakening of all of Israel is nonsense and not scripture. The Torah and the Hebrew Scriptures as a whole says that God would always have a righteous remnant keeping the covenant. And he always has. That is Judah. That is the Jewish people. We have always been keeping his covenant. Period. The end. Always have, always will. A righteous remnant. The suffering servant. That's us. So this whole claim of this grand awakening is not biblical, not for Judah, which is our tribe, the Jewish people. We are the righteous remnant have always been here. You can't convert to something you never left. That's what these dum-dums don't understand. And finally, who are the lost tribes? Open up Yeshiyahu, Isaiah chapter 11, and look at verse 11 and 12, and there are your lost tribes. They're not lost. We know where they are. And many of them have already returned and are returning at this moment. Yet you will notice that there is no mention of the land of America. So even that is ridiculous. You have no case. You're just self-hating people. Game over.